Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. Thanks for joining me today here on Music with Todd Ledbetter. And we are going to introduce a new band to the channel, uh, as we do quite often. I like hearing new bands. I also like uh, diving deep into the bands that I discover. But this particular band uh, is called COG. And we are listening to The New Normal, which came out in 2005. It's got... Uh, 11 songs and it's an hour and 13 minutes so it's rather lengthy um, and we are going to listen to um, the very first song on the album uh, which is called real life so i'm kind of interested to see what this is obviously it's a um, a uh, recommendation from you guys so we're going to get right into it and listen to cog real life
All right. Well, um, I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, you know, it was it was very 2005 in some some respects, uh, especially like the main vocal uh, melody verse uh, effects. Uh, the you know the way it was being sung. Um, it just reminds me of music of that time of, you know, 2005 or around that area, early 2000s. Um, but I thought it was good. I, I liked it. And I liked that um, even though it was fairly, it was kind of repetitive, um, they were doing things in there to make it uh, a little bit interesting, which I like kind of little throw a few unexpected little twists in there which was really good because that to me uh really enhanced uh what they were doing it was very uh very powerful song as far as the energy and behind it you know with the the drums and and the 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 two guitars you know bass just like you know going for it um i like that that I don't know what you're gonna call what you're gonna call it. Um, maybe a bridge, perhaps. It was fairly long for a bridge, but um, that was cool. I mean, that really I think elevated the song for me. And a first listen, you know, um, I know I like the song, but I'm just talking about you know how much do I like it? You know, that helped a lot to me. And the other thing I liked um, to a certain degree. Um, Yet it still sort of reminded part of what reminds me of the music of this time was the way that the the different singers vocal lines were intertwining with each other. I like that. Um, I think but with the megaphone, the megaphone sort of effect in there, uh, you know, it sort of dates it a little bit to, to me, even though it sounded it sounds fresh for a 2005. But there's a couple of things that sort of date it and the megaphone. Uh, and the uh, that sort of repetitive um, vocal melody um, kind of that way he was singing it, you know, almost like kind of like uh, almost yelling it in a way, but yell singing kind of like, um, I don't know, it's singing. I'm, I'm not saying it's not, um, but I really liked the melody when they went to that bridge part. That was really cool. Um, and then, you know, and so, like I said, they threw in several things that sort of kept that song uh, moving forward and, and kept my interest in it. All in all, I thought it was a pretty good song, especially for the first listen and for the first time I ever heard the band Cog, um, never even heard of them. Um, not sh I don't really know much about them. Um, let's see what they have as far as... Uh, Looks like they have a bit of a discography. It looks like 2002, Just Visiting, and then 2005 was The New Normal, and then Sharing Space, 2008, and then they got uh, 12 Years With You Live. So they did a live uh, album in 2020. So three studio albums, it looks like. So that's good, though, that they're still trying to plug along and did their, uh, their uh, live album. be interesting to hear what this how their sound changed from uh, 2002 to 2008 um, as far as like sort of a little bit of an update um, pretty good stuff though uh, I was uh, I was I was pleased with it for sure not not over the oh, not over the moon with it but you know definitely a good song I don't know if I'm convincing you or not <laughs> I feel a little bit uh, you know like this with it, you know, I, I'm going both ways with it. There was elements I liked and that I don't want to say save the song, but save the song. And then there was elements that just felt dated, but there was good power behind it. And um, I definitely listened to this type of music uh, for a, quite a long time for, you know, while it was popular, um, you know, and, and I think my head is is being a little bit skewed by some of the music I've been listening to lately you know, some of the more uh, complicated music and prog music. Not that I, uh, not that I'm new to that, but just different styles of prog. So um, it's hard to explain. Uh, maybe you understand. Maybe you feel the same way. Um, but let me know for sure. Let me know down in the comments how you feel or what you think of the band. Uh, kind of 
sort of help me to sort of figure out my own thoughts even too if I hear what your guys' opinions are it might be like yeah that's that's kind of what I was thinking or oh I didn't think of that yeah so um meet me down in the comments um also uh, thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet I am asking you to subscribe um like for the second half of December I'm trying to do a little campaign you know for what it's worth you know uh hit that subscribe button and help me get over to 10,000 subs before the end of the year i'm just you know just sewing it out there trying to see if we can do it uh and it would be super cool if we can uh if you don't want to subscribe that's totally fine i but um i'm just i'm just like point blank asking for the subscription if you've been enjoying the channel uh just because uh 10,000 would be a cool number to hit um and uh so i'll go, i'll see you guys in the next video and uh down in the comments let me know what you think I appreciate it and talk to you later. You guys have a great day. Bye.